Hello and welcome to another episode of the Digital Painter Vidcast. My name is Terry Danage Kimiak II and I am the Digital Painter. And we're sitting here today on this fabulous Friday and I'm putting together a video for you. Uh, first it'll go out to my Patreon members and then a week later it goes out to YouTube. And uh, if you're looking to get the videos early, you can always go by patreon.com slash the digital painter and become a Patreon supporter. All that support goes into helping provide what I do here. That sentence was terrible, but I'll try and get through it. Um, it you know, it pays for things like server costs and the ability to host the videos, that sort of thing, and make them so they're high def downloadable for my Patreon members. Uh, so, uh, so definitely if, if, if you have a spare dollar, we'd love it. If not, no worries. I'm going to keep doing these videos cause I love it this week. We're going to be playing in Photoshop, but you, this is the, what we're going to be talking about today is something that you can actually use in pretty much anything that has blending modes for their layers. And so let me go ahead. This is something I was working on the other day. So I'm going to start a new file. We're just gonna do a simple. Let me let me pull. This is what happens when you have multiple monitors. It doesn't always want to show up on the right one. Uh, yeah. We'll just. It doesn't matter. So there we go. I need to switch over to painting. I need to open up uh, my extension, which is Magic Picker. If you're not using Magic Picker in Photoshop, uh, it's a wonderful time saver. And I did a I did a video about it, so definitely check it out. I gotta there we go. My favorite thing with digital art programs is the ability to move things around. Real quick, what we're doing here, you know, I am the digitalpainter.com, but I do do uh, natural media as well. And I want to know if you get a chance, comment on this video. Let me know if you'd like to see some of my natural media work as well. I may start to incorporate that. Also, if you ever want to watch me live stream, I do live stream on twitch.tv slash the digital painter. Uh, it's where I, I don't record it. I just, you know, uh, whatever art I'm working on, I stream it live there and you guys can watch me. I was on last night, had a blast, a couple people watching. And that's when I made uh, this, that, that character right there. Uh, along with the little about on the bottom. So definitely check it out. All right, so I'm going to come back to him real quick because this is the guy that kind of inspired this week's um, this week's video. And one of the things that I like to do is when I'm drawing, when I'm doing my initial drawing, let me grab my pencil. I like to draw in just a pencil like a regular pencil setup. So I'm going to add a couple layers because I I do not like drawing on white. It drives me crazy. So I switch to a little bit of a gray and then I feel better about it. And then I grab my pencil. All right. So and and this is for literally sketching anything. Now I'm going to do a quick sketch here. Um, just a little chibi face. Let's see. Now, when you're sketching, what you should be doing is refining it as you go, right? So what you're going to see here in just a second is I'm going to come in and I'm going to refine the image. You know, your first sketch is, is never going to be your your final sketch. And I am very kind of, which my, my grad teacher would yell at me for, I'm very much a, you know, multiple line sketcher, right? Um, my, my grad teacher, my grad professor, always said, use full lines. Do not do this hacka hacka thing. I'm like, Larry, you know, that's just kind of how I do it. <laughs> All right, let's give this guy some sweet eyes. What do you think? Let's do, um, well, hold on. Let's, let's get my lines here. So there we go. OK. Uh, what kind of eyes do we want? Uh, I want big. I know that. So let's go with, uh, we're just going to do. He 
He's going to have just a little mouth. And maybe just a triangle nose. Haha, <laughs> triangles are cool. Bow ties are cool. I love Doctor Who. I watched him last night, and every time I watch him, I fall in love with him again. Oh, we went alien on that side. We don't want that. All right. Oh, I hate that eye. Oh, my eraser is too big. Let's reduce that. And, of course, my eraser settings. Opacity. There we go. Okay. I'll grab my pencil again. Uh, get that back. Let's see. <laughs> okay. And for anybody that's, you know, questioning, yes, I draw a lot of guidelines because I need those guidelines. If I don't have those guidelines, I go crazy. I have been known to, um, oops, oh, I didn't hit that button. <laughs> I have been known to actually just copy one side eye into the other. Um, but one of the things that I'm working on, you know, a personal project is getting better at drawing both sides. Okay, that's not terrible. And this is this is that part, you know, I, I was talking about refining here in a second, although he's a bit cross-eyed because I wasn't paying attention and I was just doing a mirror. Let's, um, there we go. Okay. So, and we'll just, we'll give him a little bit of a, and then he needs hair, right? All right, so we have our initial sketch down of our guy who really should have a bit of a, a smile. I'm going to get rid of the nose, though. Not a big fan of that nose. Okay, and so say you've got your first, and now you want to sketch over it. Now, one of the ways you can do it very easily is to just take the opacity down. But it's still kind of a grayish color, and that's what I don't like. So what I want to do is I actually want to change it blue. And one of the ways you can do that in uh, in Photoshop is if you add a new layer, and this is again any anything with a blend mode, any program that has blending modes. And I'm going to grab my fill tool. I'm going to switch to blue. I'm going to find the blue that I like. Move it above the layer of your drawing, and then click overlay or screen works. Now one of the things you'll see that it's doing, it is coloring my gray underneath. If you were to take it, if you were actually working on white, it would not color it. Uh, the other thing you can do, so it doesn't do it in Photoshop, is if you put it into a group and then make sure that group is set to normal. Just kidding. Set to screen because that's you are killing me right now. <laughs> hey, look, they're mowing the lawn outside. This is, um, this is good times. Now, this, <laughs> oh, nope, normal. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, apparently it doesn't want to work in the group setting where it was earlier. The other thing that you can do is create a clipping mask. In fact, 
that works almost just as well as screening over. So if you're, if you're using a white background, you can use the screen method. If you're using a colored background, like I like to do, you can use the clipping mask. And what the clipping mask essentially does is it takes that fill layer of blue and only applies it to what is in the layer below it. So that's the clipping part, right? So it is clipping directly to the pencil lines. So now we have a blue background, blue pencil mark. So as I come on here on a new layer and begin to refine my drawing, Now again, this would not be my final. I usually refine like, oh, I hate that mouth. I usually refine three or four times before I actually get exactly where I want because I'm kind of picky like that. Oops. Wow, they are really going at it out there. I am. I'm glad I chose right now to record, right? Wow, it's like they're right, and they're not even going to mow my lawn. They mow all the lawns around me. Because if they were to mow my lawn, that'd be crazy, right? Oh, that's right, I switched to this to over here. Oh. Oh, didn't like that. There we go. Oof. Oof. All right, so then we can come back here. We'll zoom out to see how it's looking. And you can actually take out the previous layer, move the layer you're working on, unclip this layer, and then clip this down to it. So now we have our new under layer to work over top of. And you can see, for example, I went way too far on that, etc. Um, and I'd go back in and fix that. And you can do that, and I don't like the hair at all. And you can go back and do that multiple times. But this is a cool little trick. Like I said, it not only works in Photoshop, but if you're using, for example, um, well, let's look at Paintstorm Studio. Not Paintstorm Studio, I just opened Art Rage, even though I said Paintstorm Studio. So if we were to draw in Art Rage, for example, oof. Let's grab a pencil, just a regular hard and dark. Okay. Just kind of sketch away. Again, we're on one layer. Now this one, we'll grab a blue, fill that layer. And this does have blend modes, so we can screen it, and there we go, we've turned it to blue. Now again, I'm here I'm working on, <coughs> excuse me, I'm working on white, so it works to do the, the screen down. Ooh. And you can actually go back into that layer, right, if you wanted to do some more work, and it would be blue.
I hate mouths sometimes. Or, like, all the time. There we go. <laughs> Give them little itty bitty ears. Alright. So I hope that can help you as you start to develop characters. Like, this works really well if you're doing, like, cartoony type characters. Like I said, if you go back into Photoshop, and if we open up my avatar, where are you at? Stairs Raw, Untitled Edit Stairs. Oh, apparently it's missing. Let's do it this way then. Because I'm sneaky and I hide things in places. That's channel art. There we go. So if you look at my avatar here, you'll see and if I just turn off a bunch of these. There's my blue layer. Screened. Over top of... And then you can easily create a clipping mask. And there he is. Now, the reason we're seeing just blue, so if I release that, is because I don't have my white layer on. If I turn my white layer on, there he is. And you can see I went through a couple of iterations here. There was the initial sketch. And then there is the updated sketch. OK? All right, that's it for this week on the Digital Painter uh, vidcast. I hope uh, that you can use this in some way in your own art. Remember. Uh, I'm thinking about doing some actual natural media on the Digital Painter channel. If it's something you'd like to see, let me know in the comments on the YouTube page or on uh, thedigitalpainter.com. And if you haven't visited thedigitalpainter.com, make sure you stop by there. It's a fabulous little place. Uh, a lot of my old videos are there. Uh, some of the things I'm working on right now is I'm working on getting a new stylus so I can continue my uh, updated Procreate series. So if you're really big into the Procreate stuff, I'm doing an update on that because of their fabulous updates, because they're amazing. All right, that's it for this week. Take care and keep on drawing. <laughs>